Hey guys, Meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update on this Wednesday. My first stop is to radar, and there it is, the leading edge of our storm system moving into very warm air. So we're seeing just a lot of rain initially on some snow in the parts of BC. Now, this initial part will swing into Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. And again, the rain snow lines are going to run high to start. And then they're going to fall to lower elevations as colder air filters in with this storm system. All right, let me take you over to water vapor satellite imagery. Uh, so here it is. And the drier air is in your oranges and your reds. Your moisture is going to be in the whites and the blues. And there is our storm system right there digging into the Pacific Northwest. And again, eventually the track will take it through the Intermountain West, and then the low is going to get cut off over the four corners, cut off from the main flow, where it's going to sit and spin for an additional two, maybe two and a half days over Colorado and New Mexico. So that's the setup with this, with this storm system. All right, here are my bullet points. Um, this afternoon, storm system on track for 1017 and 1018. Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado gets cut off 1018, 19, and 20 in New Mexico and Colorado. Rain snow line's a big issue with this. It starts at about 11,000 in the Wasatch and over most of, most of uh, Utah. But then it drops, and it looks like even this afternoon it's going to drop a little bit faster. So I've added more snow to my forecast, um, especially for Alta Snowbird. It's going to drop all the way down to 6,000 feet during the course of this storm system. So again, we're going to have snow all the way down potentially um, to some valley areas, to some of the bench levels uh, with this storm system. So that remains a critical part of this. You know, how quickly does the rain snow line drop in elevation? My latest grand total forecast, King's Peak, these remain um, significant, a foot or more. Granite Peak, a foot or more up in Montana. Chicago Basin, I added the plus sign back on, so one to two feet or more over the heart of the San Juans. Wait till you see these numbers coming up. Alta Snowbird, six to 12 inches or more. If we can, if it continues to look like we're going to get this faster changeover, um, I'll continue to add more to my forecast for Alta Snowbird. And, and that's even the case for a lot of big cottonwood as well. I, I think that the rain snow line is going to stay um, a little bit higher in uh, parts of Park City, Deer Valley, uh, Canyon. So I don't have as much snow for those areas. But because you're at a higher elevation, little and big cottonwood, I think you're going to see a little more additional snow. And I'll show you those numbers uh, coming up. So here's the latest jet stream forecast. If I close the business today, you can see the dip in the jet in the Pacific Northwest. So here comes our storm system. There it is on 1017. And we're fully engaged here on 1018. Really, I think the bulk of the snow comes in afternoon 1017 through the morning of 1018 in a lot of different locations. But you can see now the low is actually starting to get cut off over the four corners being left to sit there and spin by the main flow. And there it is. It's all alone, 10, 10, 19, 10, 20, and then it's finally gone and it moves away. And then we look off to the west and we kind of see what's coming. And there is a dip in the jet getting ready to move in 1024, 1025 into California. Um, so let's take a look at the, uh, the forecast radar and satellite. So here we are tomorrow. Now well, this is today at 530. So 1016 today at 530. You can see there's that leading edge. There's that rain I showed you on radar. Here it comes. Now, by the time we get into 1017 in the afternoon, reinforcing shot of cold air begins to move in and turn a lot of the precip over to snow. That's going to force that rain snow line to drop to a lower elevation. So mainly snow at this point in parts of Idaho, parts of Montana. It's becoming the case through the Tetons, Yellowstone, and also the Wind River. And then by the time we get into the morning of 1018, it's turned it mainly over to snow in the Wasatch, the High Uintas, down to Bryan Head. And then it's Colorado's turn. Here we are on 1018 in the afternoon. And then the low just sits and spins and snows over southwest Colorado. One glancing blow, one final blow for the I-70 corridor. And then the storm system moves out. And then it's just a waiting game to see what comes in next. And there is a storm right here, 1024, 1025, 1026, that moves into California and eventually the Intermountain West. Latest snow totals for this afternoon. The numbers have trended up across a number of locations. Uh, I've got now about a foot for out to Snowbird, probably 10 inches up there in Big Cottonwood. And again, this is because of the faster, potentially faster changeover from rain, rain, snow to snow. 
And so that number still in flux could be higher than a foot. Uh, but that's the way it looks right now. About 10 down in Bryan Head. In Colorado, all the numbers have gone up, even across the I-70 corridor. Looking at about 5 to 8 now um, for the Tetons and probably 6 to 12 in the uh, the Wind Rivers and anywhere from potentially 8 to 10 up there or more, potentially a foot or more over Granite Peak if you're really high up uh, on some of those peaks. And look at the numbers up in B.C., some of those numbers have gone up as well. Anywhere you see the pink shading, that's a foot or more of accumulation and big stuff potentially up there at Marmot Basin and Whistler. Okay, let me do a couple of zooms here. So this is southwest Colorado. The numbers have flared back up. You might recall uh, a couple of days ago I did an update where these numbers looked very similar to this. Uh, that's one to two feet solid for a lot of areas. Telluride's gone up. Um, Ure, Dallas, Uncompagre, Waterhorn, all those numbers have gone up. And certainly over Eolas and the Chicago Basin Group, I mean, potentially up to three feet, as indicated right here. Wolf Creek's got a couple of feet coming. Um, <clears throat> so Silverton, you're probably looking at 24 inches. Um, I would say at a min, maybe even up to 30. So the powder skiing, powder alert is definitely in effect for this. You're going to have some amazing powder skiing by the time we get into Friday, Saturday. Um, across that area, even in the Sunday, potentially, as that, that storm system just sits and spins through the weekend. Okay, one more uh, zoom. This is for the I-70 corridor, and also I included parts of the Elk Range over there around Aspen, so maybe four or five inches, mid-mountain and higher, um, around the Elks, Aspen, Aspen Highlands, and Snowmass Buttermilk. Um, now the numbers have gone up. Vail Mountain, mid-mountain and higher, uh, I don't know, potentially 8 to 12 inches there. Uh, the Sawatch down to the Collegiates could see a foot, potentially a foot over Sherman, the Mosquitoes, all the way up towards uh, the Continental Divide. Guys, thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon mountain weather update. Um, always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care and have a great night.